Let us continue in this video to describe the transformations of Forum Boarium area in centuries, using old maps, views and photos of Rome from the 16th to the 20th century. The historical architectural landmarks still present in the area include the broken bridge over the Tiber, the Roman temples from the Republican era dedicated to Hercules and the god Portunus, the medieval house of the Crescenzi family, the church of Santa Maria in Cosmedin, the church of San Giorgio in Velabro, the arch dedicated to the Emperor Constantine, known as the Arch of Janus, the arch dedicated to the Emperor Septimius Severus, known as the Arch of the Argentari, Money Changers, and the Church of Santa Anastasia, near the Circus Massimus area. The map of Giovanni Battista Falda, from 1676, depicts Rome already transformed by the grand interventions of the Baroque era. This map is also beautiful, notable for its attention to detail. As we approach the Tiber River, we come to the Tiber Island, here is the Santa Maria Bridge, also known as the Senatorial Bridge, which has been broken and not restored since 1598. Moving closer to our area, we see the former Foro Boario, with its defensive walls against floods. the circular temple of Hercules, which was still a church at that time. And nearby the temple of the god Portunus, also depicted as a church in the Falda map. Across from it, though barely recognizable, is the house of the Crescenzi family. The Via Salara, also known as the Salt Road, and its arch are clearly visible. The square here is called Piazza Bocca della Verità, because the mouth of truth is an important feature characterizing this area. This is the church of Santa Maria in Cosmedin, with its characteristic medieval bell tower. Let's take a look at the area of the Circus Maximus. Here it's labeled as Ruins of the Circus Maximus, and we can see some surviving arches of the circus that no longer exist today. And the mill tower, under which the water course discussed in the video on the origins of Rome, passed before being buried and flowing to the Cloaca Massima to empty into the Tiber. Farther back in the Velabrum area, we see the Arch of Janus, mistakenly labeled as Temple. The Church of San Giorgio al Belabro, with its characteristic medieval bell tower. The toponym Foroboario is indicated in this area, although we know that the actual Foroboario area is different. There is also the Church of Santa Anastasia, with its new facade after the radical transformation works commissioned by Pope Urban VIII. The ruins of the Imperial Palace on the slopes of the Palatine Hill, which were entirely occupied by the Farnese Gardens, the Church of San Teodoro, previously seen in the Tepestas map along the ancient Vicus Tuscus, and the path of the Appian Way, which we have already analyzed. This is the route of the Western Hyperbole up to the Tiber, where it once continued across the bridge, now interrupted, to continue as the Via Aurelia Via della Lungaretta in this urban stretch, the Trastevere district, until reaching the gate of San Pancrazio, Roman Porta Aurelia, in the Aurelian walls. Let's take a temporal leap of about 70 years, and we have the precious and magnificent map of Rome by Giovanni Battista Nolli from 1748, La Nuova 
Topografia di Roma. The new topography of Rome. We see it on interactive knowledge website of Stanford University. Zooming in on our area, we have the Tiber River with the Tiber Island and the Broken Bridge. We can see the current situation with only one span of the bridge remaining. The other two were demolished to make way uh, for the new bridge at the end of the 1800. In our area, we see the Temple of Hercules, the Temple of the God Portunus, which is now isolated here, the House of the Crescenzi family, which is the only building remaining in this area that was entirely demolished except for the Church of San Nicola in Carcere and the structures of the Theatre of Marcellus. Until 1930, this was a densely built neighborhood completely demolished first to make way to the Lungo Tevere with the embarkments in the late 1800 when Rome became the capital of Italy and then in 1930 by the fascist regime. Returning to our Piazza Bocca della Verità we have the Triton Fountain Church of Santa Maria in Cosmedin. Here we can see the plan with the portico, the three aisles and the three apses. It's an oriental style church, Syriac, characterized by these three apses. We see the ancient Via Salara, which no longer exists today because it has become part of the Lungo Tevere. Then, moving towards the Velabrum, we see the Arch of Janus and the Church of San Giorgio in Velabro. Here it is with uh, three aisles and the apse and the series of buildings still existing apart from this one that has been demolished. Here are the other buildings that still exist as well as this garden. Also in the area we see the Church of Santa Anastasia as it still stands today. and a series of buildings on Via dei Cerchi, the Palatine Hill and the site of the Circus Maximus, which at the time was still occupied by cultivated gardens and the presence of the ditch previously seen. Today this is the area of the Circus Maximus. In this map, we can clearly trace the path of the western hyperbole starting from the Porta di San Sebastiano, the route of the ancient Via Appia Via Latina, passing by the ruins of the Bath of Caracalla, then reaching the Murcia Valley, then Circus Maximus Valley, and then the area of the Foro Boario, where, once crossing the broken bridge, it continues into the Trastevere district, the route of the Via Aurelia, which here is called Via della Lungaretta, and then rises up to the exit of the Porta di San Pancrazio, Porta Aurelia. About 30 years later, in 1765, Giuseppe Vasi gifted us with a spectacular view of Rome, captured from the Giannicolum. Let's zoom in uh, our view. Here we have uh, either end St. Peter's Basilica with the St. Peter's Square and Bernini's Colonnade, and earlier on the other side the showpiece of the Acqua Paola, the Fontanone del Giannicolo, Giannicolo's Big Fountain. Zooming in on the Tiber, we see the Tiber Island and the Broken Bridge. Facing us is the area of the Foroboario, with the circular temple of Hercules. The temple of the god Portunus, the house of the Crescenzi, the church of Santa Maria in Cosbedin, with its characteristic bell tower, 
and the new baroque facade unfortunately demolished to restore a presumed previous medieval facade. In this area we catch a glimpse of the space of the Circus Maximus. Here is the Palatine, with the ruins of the imperial palaces, the church of Santa Anastasia, with its two bell towers, the baroque facade as it has come down to us, and here emerges the bell tower of the church of San Giorgio in Velabro. The arch of Janus is visible, and the circular church of San Teodoro, along the Vicus Tuscus, leading to the area of the Forum, with the three surviving columns of the temple of Castore and Polluce. Here the Colosseum is also visible, and this is the view of our area in the late 17th. This is the Aventine, with the grand churches of Santa Sabina and Santa Alessio. A century later, in 1866, the topographic map of Rome by the Pontifical Census presents an image of the city essentially unchanged for our area. The only addition is that, as described here, of an iron bridge that reconnects the two banks of the Tiber, restoring the continuity of the previously broken bridge. So in sequence, after crossing the bridge, the house of the Crescenzi, which is uh, the only surviving building in this beautiful neighborhood that was completely demolished during fascism to make way to the Via del Mare, Sea Road. A photo of 1859 that show the neighborhood before uh, the demolitions. In the background, the Aventino Hill, in the foreground the church of Santo Mobono, uh, one of the few buildings that was not demolished. Uh, we see on the right the iron bridge that reconnect broken bridge and the two bands of the Tiber. Uh, the roof of uh, the Hercules temple here and uh, on the left uh, the facade of the Church of Santa Maria in Cosmedin with this uh, Baroque facade that was demolished then. The temple of the god Portunus is still a church like the temple of Hercules. The square of Bucca della Verità with the Triton fountain at its center. Here we also see the other fountain, a throw right in front of the temple of Hercules. <music> the Church of Santa Maria in Cosmedin, the old Via della Salara and Via di Porta Leone that lead to Piazza Bocca della Verità running alongside the Tiber. The Arch of Janus, the Church of San Giorgio, the buildings we have already seen in the previous perimeter, the Church of Santa Anastasia. Here in the Circus Maximus, the first buildings of the new gasometer of Rome being to be visible the first power plant for the electricity in Rome. We are still in the papal state, four years before the taking of Rome by the Savoia troops of the newborn Kingdom of Italy. The Circus Maximus is still otherwise an area of gardens with a ditch that we have seen several times. The Palatine Hill, and therefore also in this map, one can clearly read the path of the western hyperbole with the Appian Way entering from Porta San Sebastiano, passing in front of the ruins of the Great Bath of Caracalla, then skirting the Palatine along the slope of the Palatine through the Circus Maximus Valley, entering the area that had already been the Forum Boarium, to cross the Tiber on the rebuilt Palatine Bridge with the addition of the Iron Bridge, then winding through the Trastevere neighborhood along Via della Lungaretta, 
which is the urban stretch of the Via Aurelia, until it ascends to Porta San Pancrazio, the ancient Aurelian gate in the Aurelian walls. The Turin Club map of 1925 attests to the transformations that had already occurred by the end of the 19th century. The broken bridge had been reduced to just one span to make way for the new Palatine Bridge, which connects the two banks of the Tiber. In the area, the circular Temple of Hercules, here erroneously indicated as the Temple of Portunus, has been restored as an archaeological memorial and is no longer a church, while the Temple of Portunus itself is still indicated as the Church of Santa Maria Egiziaca. The Crescenzi House is also indicated. Across from it is Santa Maria in Cosmedin. With uh, the Santa Maria in Cosmedin, formerly Via Salara, and the Circus Maximus, now entirely occupied by the structures of the gas works, gasometer. The archaeological area is now excavated and defined, including the Church of San Teodoro and the Church of Santa Anastasia, which we have already seen. In the Velabrum area, the Arch of Janus and the San Giorgio in Velabro are in a situation almost unchanged. However, this entire neighborhood will be subject to heavy demolitions and transformations in a few years. In the meantime, the Capitoline Hill has already been greatly transformed in its northern western part to make way for the monument to King Vittorio Emanuele II, Altare della Patria, Altar of the Fatherland.